coming up. I felt like because you weren't spoon feeding it to me, I listened more. I'm really hoping it's about sewing machines. I'm as baffled at the end as I am at the beginning. Get it to this exact timing or you're fired. You're right. It doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, obviously it does to the listener. If you don't do it, you're doing it wrong. I must try and be better at that. I should get into my character. I gave you none of that, so good luck. There was something in there that they wanted to work with. For anyone that's thinking that the way that their voice is organically is going to keep them out of certain games or just certain genres of voiceover, you like could not be more wrong. This is so cool. I wouldn't have thought of that. Feels like I did a workshop. I should be paying you. And now, enjoy the podcast. How do you say that? How do you say that? How do you say that? How How do do you say say that? that? Hello and welcome to today's episode of How Do You Say That? Sponsored by Voxbox, the portable, foldable, storable audio booth. I'm here with Sam Boffin. Hello, and I'm here with Mark Rice. (laughs) This week we're (laughs) catching up with a very special voiceover guest as we have some fun with some scripts together. Yes, so if you are a voiceover or a podcaster or a director, then welcome to How Do You Say That? Now, today's fun fact about Sam is that before this recording, she spent the afternoon reading to and with kids in her local library. Well, one, fancy having a local library still. And two, how lovely to do that. Yes, I do. I do that in the summer holidays. I do that once a week in the summer holidays when I can. And um, and I I do. I read at schools as well. My nephews love Walliams, David Walliams at the moment. Uh, Yeah, they're slightly older, presumably, are they? Uh, No, eight and six. Yeah, yeah. No, eight and six. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But these were pictures books. It's very difficult reading upside down. Yes, it is. Because you're behind the book in front of the children and they often read along and you get kind of, you know, you go off on a tangent. But it was good fun. It was lovely. Well, Mark's fun fact is that immediately after this recording, he is going live on TikTok for the whole evening. Yes, I've, I've been doing a little bit more of this. You know, I uh, demonstrate piranha products around the world. Um, we're, we're doing some TikTok live for them as well. So demonstrating. So um, and I'm doing it fairly regularly. It's quite fun. But I'm here in the studio with my Vox box. So I'm away from base at the moment. You're in a, in a corner of the studio, aren't you? Yeah. And so in theory, everybody else, part of the crew and everything, they're going to be arriving in the next few minutes. So if you hear both the dog barking and the doorbell going, that'll be the reason why. Well, let's get to our special guest because we are talking today to wonderful voiceover Dev Joshi. Hello, Dev. Hi, Hi, I'm so scared to say anything in case the audio doesn't work because I am terribly audio inclined. It's all good. It's all good. Let's find out a little bit more about Dev, shall we? Absolutely. So, Dev is an American voice actor currently based in London. She split her time as a child between London and New York. How cool is that when you're a child? Woo! So she has an English degree from King's College London and a diploma in musical theatre from Associated Studios. (laughs) She's been nominated for two Vox Awards and three One Voice Awards. Her previous clients have included Lego, Spotify, Ford and YouTube. She's done several video games, Tom Clancy's Division 2, Horizon Forbidden West, Aliens, Dark Descent and Stellar Blade, to name a few stellar ones. Uh, most recently, she appeared in the Garfield movie alongside mm-hmm. Chris Pratt and Hannah Waddingham as John's love interest, the veterinarian Liz. Wow, wow. Dev, that is a career and a half. <laughs> Have you got a fun fact for us? I do. It actually has to do with my English degree. So my fun <laughs> fact is that I skipped my university graduation to go to Fire Island in New York, nice. which, if you're not familiar, is a very gay island. So that was a lot It of is. <laughs> it was I'm very, very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I just figured, what a, what a better, you know, alternative. I was like, you know, Absolutely. two options, cap and gown or, you know, bikini. And, <laughs> yeah. and I guess you've, you've never regretted that, Dev, am Not I right? Once. It's been fantastic. <laughs> it's a great memory. On the bikini clad notes, let's have a look at the first script of our show and ask, how do you say that? How do you say that? This is something that I did very, very recently. It looks a fairly dry corporate and I didn't Isn't understand it? it when I read it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's a gorgeous, gorgeous script. It's it's I don't usually get scripts like this. So um, No, I have to say yes. it's much more the much more the kind of stuff that comes into my inbox this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I've done a, quite a few bits uh, of, uh, it's an explainer really, I've done a, quite a few yeah. explainers for this particular company. I'm as baffled at the end as I am at the beginning. I'm really hoping it's about sewing machines. No, I, 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 I bet you do hope it's about sewing machines. It's not about it's sewing not. machines. What is it no. about? Damn it. <laughs> well, actually, Good it's... question, Dev. <laughs> Thank you. It's about winemaking. Is it? 
Actually, that might help. Does it?、Mm, I'm not sure that it ever helped me. My dad made wine, so that's that's that, that something in my brain has just gone. Yes, I can see how that bit and that bit go together.、Now. Really, I,、yes. I'm st- I'm still at a loss as to work out what indeed <laughs> I'm ever talking about. I did one of those this afternoon. Oh, really? Where I didn't、oh. have a clue. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I always、uh, take a tip out of、uh, Diane Perry's、uh, voiceover <laughs> teachings, and she always says, "Well, if you don't really know what you're you're doing, just imagine a kind of Doctor Zeus machine." So that's what I always imagine—a Doctor Zeus, crazy Doctor Zeus yeah. machine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever get to see the videos ahead of time? No. Oh, no, because they're they're cut to time. They're cut to my voice.、Oh, Thank、oh, that's God. Oh, fantastic. Because it it means that I don't have any worries about.、Um, Having to you know fit it into a particular time frame、yeah. or anything, they work、yeah. around what I'm. What That's I'm doing. amazing. I I come from a different world where it's like get it to this exact timing or you're fired. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm quite relieved about that. <laughs> I'm excited to hear it. Yes, gaming is very much like that, actually, Dev, isn't it? It's like you need to fit it in this four and a half seconds because、yep. all of the other languages are fitting it in this four and a half seconds. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I tend to go、yeah. too fast, actually. So this is this is going to be fun. <laughs> well,、uh, as anybody that's ever listened to this podcast knows, I always go too fast, and so I'm going to radically try and slow、Are、this、you? one down. You crazy cat! Go on. <laughs> Whether、then. that's correct or not, I don't know. So let <laughs> me have a go first. All right, here we go then. In addition, the laid-over pleat design of Unifold benefits from another key feature: the uniform flow of fluid across the entire surface of the filter medium. In contrast, for fan pleat filters, an upstream flow channel of the medium is much more open than the downstream side due to the standard triangular pleat structure. Consequently, the flow is highest at the bottom of the pleat. You're right; it doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, does it? Really? I mean, obviously, it does to the listener, assuming that the the listeners are,、uh, you know. Okay. I mean, I'm glad we had fluid and liquid there. Exactly, <laughs> and flow. Yeah, exactly. I, think, I, I, what you did actually is, I think, something that I do with it, and that is, you were quite, you, you were deliberately slow at the top when you were spelling out what we were about to talk、yes. about, and then you speed it up when you,、yeah. you got to the. Sort of, if you if you like the filling in bit. I thought that was fantastic. I liked because I tend to do this thing, and I'm not trying to preemptively, you know. Disclaimer: It, but I tend to try to make every single noun sound super interesting, and I liked that there was more of a flow. Or I, I, I felt like because you weren't spoon feeding it to me, I listened more. Okay,、uh, that's so I think that was yeah, because I had to listen out. I was like, "What is a triangular pleat structure? God, tell me." <laughs> Dev, your go. What are you going to make of this one? Okay, I'm I'm already worried. I'm going to make it sound like it's for、really? kindergartners, but we're going to try. We'll, we'll roll. We'll see. <laughs> Do you know that might really work? I don't know. I think okay, that's my、yeah. version of it. That's my、okay. read. <laughs> Approachable kindergartner. That's what I'm、Fair. going for. <laughs> okay. In addition, the laid-over pleat design of Unifold benefits from another key feature: the uniform flow of fluid across the entire surface of the filter medium. In contrast, for fan pleat filters. The upstream flow channel of the medium is much more open than the downstream side due to the standard triangular pleat structure. Consequently, the flow is highest at the bottom of the pleat. That that felt really kind of upbeat, perky. I really I I enjoyed that. I have to confess. I understand what you mean. There was a there was a a smattering of Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I, I can only apologise, Dad. No, it's fine. That's, I'll just log off now. You said <laughs> talking to kindergartners, no, so did, my brain was my brain was already in that kind of sphere. I think Sesame Street is one of the greatest things that's ever been created. <laughs> it teaches you everything、yeah. you need to know. Yeah, <laughs> they do、right. even even wine making machines. Even what I they, imagine, even so、that. you can imagine Cookie、that. Monster with on the wine making <laughs> machine, can't you? <laughs> you absolutely can. The special,、huh? the like after school special. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it would be a it would be a very fun explainer video if they all got involved. I have to say. Oh yeah, wouldn't it? <laughs> I really liked that read. It made it very listenable to me.、Yeah. It was upbeat. It was perky. You're right, but but that、yeah. made it. I I thought very listenable to my brain, Dev. So、yes. uh, you, you. you paid me that compliment. I th- I think it works both ways. That yeah, definitely. Thank you. I do I do think for me I tend to 
also like live and die on commas and people always are trying to get me out of the reading the comma as if it's the most obvious thing in the world but I I think because of the English degree I, I or like having done drama I always think of a comma like someone's like agonized over that comma and if there's a comma <laughs> there they want it there and if you don't do it you're doing it wrong <laughs> so I definitely have to work myself out of okay wow. there's a pause here that's Whereas just one a... of Sam's main things is ignore the punctuation. <laughs> uh, it's great probably... advice. It's not Sometimes. A, It's not an all catch. It's not a catch all <laughs> or an all catch. It's not a catch all. I don't always ignore the punctuation. Fair. You might find that I adhere to it this time. I, I, I don't really know what I do, to be perfectly honest. I ignore an exclamation mark. I have to say that. I've, I'm notorious for going, no, nah, that doesn't need to be <laughs> <laughs> exclaimed. Let's find out from Sam what she actually did. Are you keeping okay. anything back from us, Sam? Is, no, is there anything? No, that, no, no. Honestly, genuinely, not at all. It just is what it is. I mean, this is... Okay. So, this is such a kind of standard uh, explainer. In addition, the laid over pleat design of Unifold benefits from another key feature. The uniform flow of fluid across the entire surface of the filter medium. In contrast for fan pleat filters, the upstream flow channel of the medium is much more open than the downstream side due to the standard triangular pleat structure. Consequently, the flow is highest at the bottom of the pleat. I tell you what I got from that that I hadn't got from either my read or Dev's was the up and then the down and then the mm. triangular and mm. you went up and you went down and you went across. Mm. So I mm. kind of saw the triangle in my brain. There you that go. Is fantastic. Ah. <laughs> I had no idea I was doing that. <laughs> now, what would happen if you did them all the opposite way? <laughs> oh my <laughs> yeah, God, can it. you imagine? <laughs> what percentage of work do you get to see, Dev? Not a lot, actually. I mean, I, no. well, the games, yes, but I have to go find yeah. it myself. True, true. I also do a lot of like kid explainer science videos and I don't really watch those because <laughs> I wouldn't want to. <laughs> I, do you know what? I can see you doing that and I'm going to go back to the Sesame Street line because if you if you even take a percentage of that, that I think would work really nicely for that kind of thing. It's, it's a really hard skill because I, I mm. did a lot of, well, I've done a lot of pantos in my time and the main thing they try to teach you is, you know, if you start to condescend or like be condescending yeah. to children, they yeah. know. So you have to find a way and it's really transferable to to voiceover work for kids because yes, the minute is. you start to go this is super obvious they they <laughs> hate <Yeah>. it <laughs> they can smell through when you were in panto what kind of uh, parts did you get did you get ones that interacted with the audience quite a lot yeah i was the baddie yeah. both times it was what great yeah oh. i loved it because we don't well, have i thought that you were going to say principal boy then no i, I wish that's the <laughs> dream do you <laughs> Because okay. I'm yeah. usually the baddie, and I'm, in fact, I'm always the baddie in Panto. But um, Whereas that doesn't yeah. surprise me, Sam. No, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, but, but I would have thought you would have been, yeah, I would have thought you'd have been the, the kind of the, 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 the nice guy yeah, that they too. all kind of interact with. That's yeah, so no, I, I loved it. I loved like getting rude with the audience and saying, you know, yeah, yeah. oh, is that a boo? What was that? Like, it's great. It's just <laughs> yeah. right in the, the sassiness. It's fantastic. Play, how do you say that? Well, it is worthwhile remembering that these are real scripts that we've been working on, but we've changed names and some details to avoid copyright issues. We have. And well, this, the script that you've bought us, uh, Dev, is a case in point. So this is an unusual script for us. Can you tell us a little bit about it without giving too much away? Yeah, they, these are, I want to say these are actually two different cutscenes merge together from a game from a game yes mm -hmm. i should clarify it's from a game and i've actually included the directions in there i hope that's okay yes um, and we've left those in in the show notes so that people can yeah. see them oh perfect amazing so this is yeah this is a game that i did actually i've worked on it i want to say for about three years and it was just released so this went through a few edits and I didn't want to give you anything with too much character, anything that was too obvious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a really fascinating one. And Sam and I looked at this before you came along. And so we, we've decided to do this a, a little bit differently, Sam. Do you want to explain? Uh, if I can succinctly. <laughs> no, it was because we don't know who the character is. No. And usually with game scripts, you have, well, I mean, Dev, you, you, you'll know better than I do. You have a little bit of backstory usually of both mm -hmm. the game and the character, yeah? Yeah, exactly. And maybe a picture sometimes. Maybe a picture. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. It's always Hopefully. good to have a picture. Yeah. So when you when you go into uh, actually delivering these lines or recording these lines, you have an idea of 
or who your character is, possibly even who they're talking to or might be talking to, mm-hmm. and their place within the game. I gave you none of that, so good luck. None of that. <laughs> so what we thought we would do is we would retrofit these <laughs> lines into a character that we chose that kind of fits with these lines. It won't be the right character. I'm 100% or sure of Or if it is, that. that will be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so we've kind of made up characters. Fantastic. Um, and, and that's how we're going to go into this. So we'll give you a brief, yeah, rundown of who we think we are. Great. It'll give three very definite, different types of read here, I think. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. It's a real fun way of looking at it. And I think Sam is going to go first. I am going to go first. So what character have you chosen? I, I've chosen a kind of uh, space-hopping adventurous oh. Oh. who's kind of Ooh. playful and sure of herself. And at this moment in it, she is either jumping out of a spaceship or, you know, jumping off a planet or leaving okay. the person that she's speaking to. Nice. Uh, give me a moment. I should get into my character. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, no, uh, Morph there. Morph. Oh, so I think this is the last time we'll see each other. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, I highly doubt someone like me can just pray and get lucky. <laughs> Farewell. Well, I look forward to the next time I see you, honey. At times like this, all you can do is wish for luck. (laughs) I guess jokes aren't uh, really your forte. (laughs) Ta-da! If everything goes well, maybe some light will find this place of destruction, right? Wow, that was excellent. I could see the space that, yes, I could see exactly <laughs> what you were talking about there. Mm. Mm-hmm. Who who were you talking to, do you think? Well, because you won't be, you won't be at all surprised to hear this, Whovian that I am, I channeled <laughs> River Song talking to the Doctor. Oh, uh, do you know what? And, and that is, that's kind of where I got with it. So yeah. I'm glad you said that. So it was kind of that kind of yeah. vibe. Oh, really lovely. you got to base it on something. That was excellent. That kiss that you did, that was great. That <laughs> little, loved that. Just brings it to life, doesn't it, a bit? Yep, it really does. That I probably didn't fantastic. do as many humanizations as I would at the top, actually, m- m- mainly at the top of each scene, if you like, because yep. I didn't... Mm, I think if I was doing this in real life, I'd know what the scene was. Of course. Um, But anyway, but that, that, yeah. Yeah. It was fun to do. It was fun to retrofit those things. And I'll be, I'm so excited to learn who this character actually was. Yeah, sure. How how you'll be doing it. That's so fun. And of course, I am excited to see what you're going to do with it, Mark. Because obviously, these will be three very different approaches. Can I just say that I'm a million miles away from that? That's good. That's good. Isn't that amazing? I have created a character in my mind that is a million miles away. I'll tell you the, the scene that I'm thinking. East End gangster murderer oh, is amazing. about to Ooh. kill... Someone that he loves. This is so cool. And you got I that just from the script. That. I and love fr- that. And that's from the script. That's from the script. I don't that know if like I'll be able to pull it off, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try. That is so exciting. Like the Cray twins, right? I can tell by Sam's reaction that she can see where my brain is going with it. Oh that. my god, I so can. And that's this is a really exciting way of um interpreting this script. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. My mouth is wide open. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's see let's Let's see if I can, let's see if I can get there. <laughs> I think this is the last time we'll see each other. Bye-bye. <laughs> I highly doubt that someone like me can just pray and get lucky. <laughs> Farewell. Oh, well, I look forward to the next time I see you, honey. At times like this, all you can do is wish for luck. <laughs> I guess jokes really aren't your forte. Ta-ta. If everything goes well, maybe some light will find this place of destruction, right? Wow. 
It's a totally that, different script. It's a totally different world. Totally different. Was... It kind of came Ooh. out darker than I even thought. <laughs> <laughs> He was quite I sinister, pictured you as I pictured you as more sitting on a chair watching someone about to get killed rather than you up in their face yes, about to me kill too. them. Me like, too. Like boss. He's interesting. I pictured myself actually kneeling on the floor and someone lying down there, and oh, it was about to happen. Oh, interesting. Interesting, but, but mm, still quite mm. still. Yes. Quite self. Yeah, prob- probably drugged. Yeah. <laughs> probably drugged. <laughs> oh, them, not you, presumably. Them, yeah. not me. <laughs> Everyone. That would have been a different script again. <laughs> that would have been a very different script again. <laughs> I quite enjoyed that. Yeah. Gosh, you did so well with it. And it's it's tricky trying to excavate as much as you can from that, right? Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that was so interesting. That was great. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and I imagine, Dev, again, you're a million miles away from both of those. <sighs> yeah. I. But to be fair, I, I auditioned for this character several times and then had a directed audition, then got cast and then spent three years oh. doing it. So I feel like... Okay. We it, it was a joint effort getting it to the place yeah. that everyone was happy with nice. rather than me just coming in and going, this is what I think. There was a lot of sort of <laughs> fine tuning. But they must have heard something in your original voice yeah. that took that all the way. So they must have, even if you didn't end up using the voice you used when you auditioned, there sure. was something in there that they wanted to work with. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to guess it's the vocal fry. But <laughs> we'll see. Oh, so, okay. So that, that that's cool. So, okay. Now, so... Do you can you tell us much about this character? Can you tell us anything about this character? Yeah, I mean the game's out, so I can tell you everything cool. if you like. Excellent. Tell us everything, Dan. Tell you all of it. Um, so this is for Stellar Blade. <gasps> oh. So this was particularly interesting because it's obviously already all been done before, and they had sort of an audio reference done yep. for us to record against. So okay. a lot of the audition process was seeing how well we could time. Right. Our yeah. lines with yeah. what had been recorded. And there were really, really strict time constraints. So that was, I think it was helpful to have some sort of a musical background because you can get into the, yes. well, they were yeah. very clear on not copying the cadence and the exact inflections, but to sort of get the the exact same timing and the mm-hmm. general sentiment. So, Did you feel um, straightjacketed by that? No, and because I think the timing was fine as long as I, because I feel like when we do commercials and stuff, it's the same kind of, skill yeah. where you're trying and to get into well. so yeah. that I was fine with I think the fact that they made it really clear that they didn't want us to copy mm. felt great because otherwise sure. I could have just gone in there and done the exact same inflection and yeah. then just felt and mm-hmm. I have done jobs like that where you are just copying and it, you do sort of feel a little bit like a machine mm-hmm. um, so th- for this it was much more of a creative okay like what do you think this character sounds like you know let's give her your voice as opposed to you just going in there and mimicking yeah. of another yeah. voiceover artist yeah so yeah no i definitely i had my my creative juices flowing for this which was great can you give us a two-line description of who the character is how do i phrase this in a good way <laughs> she is a local wares seller and she also dabbles in secret selling ah. so she is basically gives out a lot of information she gets to talk to the main character a bunch and she is sort of off to the side being a badass um, okay. And she just knows what's up. She knows what's going on. She's very streetwise. So that was what I was given in terms of the character. Nice. And nice. Uh, they they just wanted her to sort of mess with Eve, the lead character. So that was that was what I was told. And it, whether or not it was through speaking seductively or speaking in sort of a joking way. I want to hear. I want to hear yes, how so you I. did it, Yes, Dev. yes, yes. Okay. Here Please. We go. I think... This is the last time we'll see each other. Bye-bye. I highly doubt someone like me can just pray and get lucky. (laughs) Farewell. Well, I look forward to the next time I see you, honey. At times like this, all you can do is wish for luck. (laughs) I guess jokes aren't really your forte. Ta-ta. If everything goes well, maybe some light will find this place of destruction. Right. Ooh, <laughs> nice, oh, nice light, yes. kind of light touch, but there was a darkness there. Really mm. enjoyed that. And the thing that struck me, Sam, uh, which I'm seeing in a lot of uh, people that do gaming and a lot of people that do a lot of gaming, is you are cast very much for the tone and timbre yeah. of your voice. They don't Absolutely. want you to play a different voice. They yep. want that character with your voice, don't? Yeah. Yep. 
It's so true. Yeah. And I think that's because, well, I'm going to guess, A, it's evolving as the process is going on. And then at the same yep. time, while you're there, they'll just sort of throw you in the deep end and go, OK, what other <laughs> voices can you do or what yeah. other or like, can you oh, okay. can we can you do a different accent and we'll we'll throw you in as an NPC in the, you know, at the end. Yep. So it's yes. nice to go in with like your strong suit and then to get to play around with. The versatility, shall we say. We couldn't have had three more different interpretations of that yeah, script yeah, yeah. if we'd tried. We've got three very different voices. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, as yeah, you indeed. say, you know, that, yeah. that, that, that you know, ah, nine times out of ten, you know, surprise, surprise, we pick for our voices. Yes. You know, yes. and, and that's, that's, that's the beauty, I always think, is that, you know, it, it sounds so obvious, doesn't it? But that's, that's all we've got to play with. And so that's why I, not so much despair, despair is too big a word, but, you know, I, I, I kind of think the, the sooner each individual person can lean into what they do best, the better, because yes. then all yeah. that worry yeah. about why wasn't I cast goes away. Oh, I completely agree. Cause at, and even just from a gaming perspective, like I didn't think that I would be doing games because of how my voice sounds, which I, you know, is very Sesame Street, as we've said. But I never pictured myself doing games that involved sort of shooting and war yeah. stuff and like, you know, mm -hmm. command or like fighting sequences. Yep. But there are, there were places for that. And I was yes. hired to do that in different games. And, you know, so for anyone that's thinking that the way that their voice is organically yeah. is going to keep them out of certain games or just certain genres of voiceover, you like could not be more wrong. <laughs> just be open-minded. How do you say, say that? that? And so, of course, mm. here is the wild card bit yes. of the show. Love it. So and it also is hate it. <laughs> and hate it. <laughs> time to approach these scripts differently. So. Yeah, Dev, can you pick one of the scripts and give one of us a new motivation or character, please? Okay. I think let's do the first one. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to make Sam do it. I'm going to make, <laughs> make you do it. Make <laughs> me do it. <laughs> I love okay. it. And I want to hear... Oh, I just want to flip it on its head. I want to hear this as if it's like boring, uh, let's say, girl sitting at the checkout counter reading a magazine. She doesn't care. She's saying okay. the same lines to the same person every day. That's the cool. vibe I'm going for. That's the vibe. I, okay. I think that's that's a really clever interpretation of something nice. like this. Okay. <sighs> In addition... The laid over pleat design of Unifold benefits from another key feature. The uniform flow of fluid across the entire surface of the filter medium. In contrast, for fan pleat filters, the upstream flow channel of the medium is much more open than the downstream side due to the standard triangular pleat structure. Consequently, the flow is highest at the bottom of the pleat. I love that. Um, <laughs> what I got from that, what I got from it though, Sam, was that you knew what you were talking about. You were just bored to fricking death with it. That's what I got too. Because you might have talked about it every day. It's like almost like you were doing a tour, and it's like, oh god, not this again. She's sitting by the wine. She's just yeah. pointing at it while she's on her phone. She's like, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> she just knows phone, yeah. it. That was I, great. I, I loved the tone, though. I just thought that yes. was so much fun. And I love <laughs> yes. that you, you, I could hear you rolling your eyes before you started to read it. <laughs> you are so right. The roll of the eyes was really obvious. <laughs> You've got to take that moment only at the top. No, I, I, I ran with your checkout idea, I have to say. So it, all through that, I was running my hand as if running the thing across the checkout. Yeah, here we go. It was that kind of thing. <laughs> that was excellent. Shall I create one for Dev to do? Yes. Yeah, hit okay. me. Dev, I'm going to go with your script. So the gaming okay. script, but let's go completely the other end. Okay. You said you had been pantomime baddie and I want to hear this in that over the top panto way <laughs> okay. like the audience is booing and hissing you and you, you, <laughs> it's like the female Abanaza. <laughs> okay okay Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm great. I can I'm feel so her love in this already she's <laughs> I know, in the like, high okay. boots and the tail but also you can't, you, you can't really be seductive <laughs> Can you? No, okay. No, we'll, we'll figure it out. I, okay. I think you can ignore the stage direction. Do it whichever ignore. way you like. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I think this is the last time we'll see each other. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt someone like me can just pray and get lucky. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> well, I look forward to the next time I see you, honey. At times like this, all you can do 
is wish for luck. <laughs> I guess jokes aren't really your forte. Ta ta. If everything goes well, maybe some light will find this place of destruction, right? It felt classic fairy tale, actually classic, classic. baddie fairy tale. I like it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And in a way, you you could have gone. Ten times harder than that yeah, if you'd yeah, yeah. wanted to, but you really pulled back, and and I think that 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 kind of added something to it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I was thinking a not to blow out the microphone, but b <laughs> like, yeah, b Always just good. yeah. I think sometimes with the baddies, it's also nice to again let them come to you a little bit. So rather than be like, yes. I'm projecting, you you yes. hate me. It's a little bit like ha ha ha. I can be yes. evil and quiet. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I wondered if you might have got to farewell and done the whole. Farewell. <laughs> I'm but yeah, no. like a like the cape being like yes, yeah, exa- thrown exactly over the head. That. <laughs> All right then, I suppose I need to uh, to 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 get one from Sam. Yes, yes you do. Mm. Now I was going to give you the first script, right? With this particular character, there's a butt coming. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm going to give you the second script because it's more difficult, and I'm I'm testing you today, babes. Okay, so <laughs> okay, you are an estate agent. Oh God. Yeah. Showing some people around a house. Yeah. Which somewhere <laughs> in the middle you realize is haunted. Okay. okay. Fantastic. Okay. So go for it. I think this is the last time we'll see each other. Bye bye. Oh, I, I hardly doubt someone like me can just pray and get lucky. <laughs> Farewell. Well, I mean, I, I look forward to the next time I see you, honey. At times like this, all you can do is, 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 oh, wish for l- luck. Uh, 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 <laughs> I guess jokes really, really aren't your forte. Ta-ta. If if everything goes well, maybe maybe some light will find this place of destruction, right? <laughs> that was insanely good. I had to bite my tongue. <laughs> did you get them out at the end, or did you um, succumb to the ghost? I think the ghost was them. I think they had <gasps> manifested themselves about halfway through. Something had happened that he saw oh, them do. Oh my! Did he walk through a door? <laughs> That, that was that was, was kind of what I had in my mind. I didn't see coming. <laughs> and a great character. I mean, we just know a who really that, that guy character. is, right? I think that's <laughs> that was excellent. <laughs> With apologies to any estate agents listening. <laughs> oh. Well, if you want to play along in the privacy of your own booth, we've put the scripts in the show notes so you can have a try yourself at whatever character you want. Yes, please do. Now, Dev. Your animation role in Garfield, that is Hmm. a big movie. That must have been such fun. So can you run us through how it was recorded? So were you solo in the studio working to picture, as you were saying before, or did you have any other actors to bounce off? That's a great question. So this was actually the craziest story. Um, We got cast like two years prior and it was really? just to do it was just to do ADR so there was nothing that we I didn't even audition for Liz so she wasn't one of the right. characters that I read for I read for uh-huh. maybe three or four others uh-huh. and they basically just said okay we're going to bring a bunch of you in um like six or seven of you per session and yeah. we just went into the studio all together and then they would basically we had the director on Zoom with us and he would just get let's say three people up from this group to read each character. So wow. I auditioned. So we were basically then auditioning sort of again, live yeah. in the booth. And we could <laughs> see the scenes. Yeah. And we were like, I got to work with, with Mark, which was insane. So this was, you know, mental. But it was this weird moment of going, okay, I'm sort of auditioning for people in the flesh. And you, there's other actors who are reading for the same bits. And, you know, I actually wow. remember leaving and thinking that I hadn't been used at all. And I was like, oh, you know, that would have been such a cool experience. But we had some like phenomenal actors in the room, um, people that I was fans of, which was crazy. Yeah. So yep. that was already mind blowing enough. But then then cut, you know, to two years later, they said, you know, great, these are the characters that that you're playing. And yep. it was Liz. And I I was just sort of staring at it going, 
I don't even remember doing a good job with that. I don't think that <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. And then, you know, it came to pass that for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, Liz doesn't do that much in the movie. But that didn't mean that it wasn't the coolest credit of my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Right. And we were all NDA'd, which was great. So I got to sort of yeah. act like I was a bigger deal than I was for a good two months. <laughs> <laughs> legally, I was legally forced to act like I was a big deal. Did you go to the cinema and see it? I did. I did go to the cinema nice. and see it. And then oh, I filmed exciting. the credits. I made my poor boyfriend sit through the whole thing so I could film the credits. <laughs> good, good. Yep. Good. It was it was excellent. I tried to get myself invited to the premiere. They said no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean. They should have had you at the premiere. But yeah, it was all done in, I want to say like a four hour block. Yeah. So it was, wow. that was everything. Yeah, it yep. was great. It was a lot it's of fun. It's amazing how some of the biggest moments of our careers are over. Just like that, isn't it? Absolutely. So true. Wow. (laughs) Dev, thank you so much for joining us on the podcast. It has been wonderful to have you along. Uh, All of Dev Joshi's details can be found in the show notes. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you. This has been so much fun. I was so nervous. So thank you for having me. This has been great. (laughs) It was so good. Thank you, Dev. Thank you for coming along. And of course, you can also find today's scripts in the show notes and do subscribe to the podcast and even give us a review on Apple Podcasts. Yeah, please do. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks again to Dev Joshi and we'll be back next week with more scripts and another voiceover guest when we'll be asking, Dev, this is the bit where we all say the title of the show together. How do you say that? Are you ready? We'll all be asking, how How do you you say say that? that? How do you say that? that?